and I'm gonna be at 68 for a while. I just turned 21 years old, you know what I mean? I don't have no problem making weight, so I'm gonna be here for a few years. Now they need a Mexican for May 5th. Can you make 60 by May 5th? May 5th. <laughs> I just started my training camp last week. Come on, man, I've been eating them tacos. I need some time. Hey, was that, do you believe Canelo when he says it was contaminated meat or you think um, it's something You know, that's something that don't even have nothing to do with me, you know what I mean? I don't want to speak of nothing that, you know, Canelo's a great fighter. I'm sad that that fight's not happening, but uh, that's their business. It's not mine. Now, is it a sad moment for Mexican boxing? It's a sad moment for the whole boxing in general. It's a great fight, you know what I mean? And it's sad that it's not happening because I was looking forward to it. Now, you've had a chance to see them up close. Have you seen any physical attributes when you look at Canelo and be like, maybe it's unnatural? Um, I just felt like the way he looked was because of preparation. You've seen the Instagram post, how he's trained. He was extremely ready. You know, he was training for months. So I'm not I'm not going to discredit any of his success because of something like that. You've been maybe, in camp with him, that's why. Yeah, maybe. No, I wasn't in camp with him. I was in camp with Golovkin. And I, I was going to go spark Canelo, but things happened and I ended up going. But he was in camp for months. So I'm not going to discredit him. He's a great fighter. You know what I mean? So whatever happened that's between them, you know, I don't want to speak nothing on that.